today I am recommending The Dark Matter of Mona Starr by Laura Lee Gulledge. And this is a comic book that I really enjoyed. So the main character, Mona, is so not excited about the no school year because she really has one close friend at school that she can rely on and he just moved away to Hawaii. So with him gone, she feels like she's going to be all alone at school and her depression is getting worse and it's harder for her to make new friends. And so all of these things are coming together and then in the middle of all of this, she gets this really bad back pain and it won't go away. And at first she thinks that it's all in her head and she tries to just ignore it and then she realizes that there is something that's really wrong with her. And so with all of this going on, it can feel very overwhelming, but thankfully she does discover that she does have friends and people she can rely on at school. She has her family, she has her art, which she finds to be a really great coping mechanism, and she also has the help of a therapist. And together they're able to work to make her pull out an amazing year and just some really wonderful experiences out of the jaws of what could really be a disaster. And so if you are someone who really is artistic and enjoys art, she has this whole concept of an artner, like a partner, and um, I really love that aspect of the book. I love the way that this um, author can display things visually, this author and illustrator. So this is an example of Mona when she's in a thought spiral, which is when you have one bad thought and it leads to another and suddenly your brain is just thinking around and around and it just seems like everything's awful and your thoughts, you know, spiral and go down a drain to a very dark and bad place. And that happens a lot to Mona. She calls her depression her dark matter. And whether you have personally experienced depression or not, probably at some point in your life, you are going to meet someone who has. And so this could be a really great mirror reflecting back for some people what their experience is, but it could also be a really great window if you're someone who hasn't experienced depression to see what it might feel like and how you can be there for other people who you might know already or who you might meet in the future. And so either way, I really strongly recommend this book. Um, it's really insightful and it's really great to get to know this character of Mona and um, how she proceeds through the school year. So if you enjoy comic books, art, if you enjoy reading about mental illness, any of those things, I really recommend The Dark Matter of Mona Starr by Laura Lee Gulledge.